Today, we have a very special guest, Dr. Saul Rosenthal with the Northeast Region Biofeedback Society. And he's going to tell us all about their online conference coming up in a few days. It's called Coping with Stress in Today's World, Solutions for Anxiety, Depression, and Burnout. And it's going to be this Friday and Saturday, October 21 and 22. Now, Saul, for the people, you know, we got a lot of new listeners every day, new watchers. First of all, what is the NRBS? Because I'm sure we'll use that acronym quite quite a bit. It's been around 40, they've had 47 conferences. Is that true? Yeah, this will be the, the 47th uh, conference. So we've been around about 50 years. It is the, the acronym is Northeast Region Biofeedback Society. That's the Northeast region of the U.S., and we are uh, one of the regional uh, biofeedback and neurofeedback societies sort of under the umbrella of the, the national and international uh, organizations. So we've been around for a long time, but particularly the last few years, we've been drawing from actually all over the world. There's a, we, we do monthly webinars, we do trainings, things like that. And with the internet, of course, people can tune in from everywhere, including into the conference, which is going to be fully virtual this year. I just met Mitch and Angelica Sadar at the SUSUN 2022 conference out in Cali. Mm -hmm. Wonderful people, by the way. Uh, we, we met on the side and they told me all about this. How did it get going? Well, there have been uh, regional uh, neurofeedback organizations for many, many years. It does predate them. Uh, and I think ever since the, uh, actually, I think the first sort of biofeedback conference was in California. Uh, which eventually became uh, AAPB, the, the uh, Association for Applied Psychophysiology and Biofeedback, had a different name for a while. And because people are all over, they started grouping together and working together to learn more about biofeedback and neurofeedback and to sort of spread the word. So the Northeast yeah. region obviously has been around for 50 years. There actually was a New England uh, regional for a while, but kind of joined together with the Northeast region probably in the last 15, 20 years, I think. So it's been run basically by those of us who enjoy the work, doing the work, but also see the power of, of the approach. Now, it's going to be an online conference. And I also met uh, one of the people that will be coming on, uh, uh, Dr. Rusty, I, I, I call him, uh, yeah. great piano player. Uh, who are some of the people that are going to uh, uh, show up for the event? Sure. Well, Rusty Turner is one of them, and he's probably fairly well known by the folks out there who at least do QEEGs. He's he's sort of the go-to neurologist, but he's actually he's actually going to be talking with uh, Michael Cohen, who may be another uh, well-known name uh, author of uh, Neurofeedback 101. I think is the name of that book. Right. Uh, so the two of them are going to be talking actually about the effects of electric magnetic fields on the EEG, things like Wi-Fi that we are now living with all the time. So those are two. Um, other well-known names will be there. Eric Pepper is going to be giving a talk. Um, Harry Campbell is going to be talking with Mary Jo Sabo about the Yonkers Project. And, and for, for those who don't know, the Yonkers Project brought neurofeedback into a, a, a number of uh, uh, public schools in, in Yonkers, New York in the 90s. Uh, probably the best known person who will be there is Stephen Porges, and he will be, of course, talking about the polyvagal theory. They are in the, mostly in our Northeast region, of course, but they'll be talking about things like bringing neurofeedback into schools, working with kids who may be uh, traumatized or highly stressed out. Uh, so a whole lot of talks really focused on, as you said, anxiety, on depression, on burnout all of which we are, of course, sort of living in this soup right now, which right, is right. Was driving a lot of that. Now, you can be a new tech. You can uh, be a mom and dad. You want to you know, learn more about it. Uh, and it's an online conference, so it should be you know, pr pr uh, pretty welcoming. Um, you know how we can make it more welcoming, uh, Saul? Just I might have an idea, too, but why, why don't you uh, make a suggestion? Well, I'm just... <laughs> Is it possible? Now it's just us listeners just us. and watchers. Uh -huh. Is there a coupon code we could use? There, for this? in fact, is a coupon code. Um, and, and I just actually want, want to emphasize something you just said, which is we are a region 
we are an organization of clinicians primarily, but we really want to bring the word to others, uh, students, parents, people who are just interested in what we call applied psychophysiology. That's uh, a long word, which basically means bringing together physiology with psycho psychology. It all happens in the brain. And so it's all part of the package. So a, a lot like the Neuro Noodle podcast, we, we really are trying to uh, appeal to anybody who's interested. So if you are interested in this conference, uh, you can go over to register at the uh, NRBS website, which is nrbs.org. And the coupon code is happy listener. That's one word. And it is a 25% off the cost of the, of the conference. In addition to the conference itself, you will have access to all of the talks for 30 days. So if you can't make the days of the con conference, which is the 21st and 22nd, you still will have access. And I think there are a few other um, little bonuses that uh, come along with the registration. Got it. 25% off. You heard it's, it here first. 